This is Twit. A photo of the Samsung 85-inch. Um, yes, that's it. There that's, it is. In Joe's uh, home. There it is right yes. there. And and so I actually have a lot of experience with this format. And um, I find that you pretty much have to sit on top of that set in order to get the effect of the resolution. Now, I can so, see your couch right there in the picture as well. Yes. Uh, and it's it's what, one, one and a half screen height it, away? Well, it's it's at the maximum distance. It's at 1.8. Um, mm. And because I'm, I'm trying to illustrate the point that um, uh, if you get any further away, you lose the resolution that's in the set. Yeah, you, and, you, can't, you can't see the benefit of the extra resolution as correct. compared with 1080p. That's correct. And that's on an 85-inch set. And we're going to discuss screen size a little bit further on. Right. But um, I don't believe the format... Um, can be just about resolution and survive. I believe it has to be a great deal more than just resolution before the consumer is really going to be interested in buying it. I, there's obviously going to be the early adapters, uh, adopters that will, will buy a set like mine and uh, get to see it. But if it isn't something more than resolution, it's not going to attract enough consumers to carry on as a format. Right, right. So what are some of the other aspects that that you see as being needed to be included or addressed in the UHD format to make it uh, attractive enough to consumers so that they will buy it and allow the format to actually develop into a mature format? Well, we would start by saying that what I see is necessary is something that will make the format so much more attractive than our current system as to be, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And there are a lot of things, as an example, a different color gamut, a better color gamut, so that more colors could be conveyed. Uh, we might have high dynamic range so that we have more contrast in the picture. We're able to get more dynamic range into the picture than we can get in our current system. Um, it might be a different grayscale so that the color fidelity of the signal is better. It might be a higher frame rate, so temporal motion in the picture is going to be a lot better. Sports will be a lot more fun when you don't see blur in the picture because we've got a higher frame rate. So those are just but a few of the considerations that should be going into the real ultimate high definition system. Um, the ultra high def the ultimate ultra high definition <laughs> system. What you've called UUHD. <laughs> That's correct. It's the ultimate <clears throat> ultra high definition television system. And I don't believe resolution is going to be anywhere near enough to sell the format. Mm -hmm. In fact, I actually want to see changes occurring in the system that get applied to our existing system so that our 1080p and our 720p gets better. It'll get better in frame rate. It'll get better in dynamic range. It'll get better in color. It'll get better in uh, temporal resolution, in other words, motion resolution. And so I want to see all of those things incorporated in a brand new television system that includes our existing high definition system so that it can also become ultra high definition. <laughs> Without having the extra pixels. Without having the extra pixels, as, as I pointed out, the extra pixels are only valuable if you're close to the screen. Right. The, but there are so many other things that could make an ultra high definition system truly ultra high definition. And I want to see all of those things added to what is defined as UHD TV. Mm -hmm. 